first. He realizes the pure Lord to be everywhere and in all the hearts. Those dyed in the Lord's ambrosial relish are the pure anchorites and by the Guru's teaching they are absorbed in loving devotion. Whoever does the spiritual deeds day and night, he comes to realize the continuing immaculate divine light in all creation. And raptured with the relish of the God's word, the house of elixir, my tongue, plays on the melodious flute. He alone who has the knowledge of the three worlds plays on the melodious flute. Nanak says, realize this way by the Guru's teaching and be attached to the Lord's God's name in devotion. There are such persons in this world who contemplate over the Guru's word and remain detached. They save themselves and their associates. Fruitful is their birth and advent in this world. He alone knows his body home and God's mansion who has obtained understanding from the perfect Guru. In the body fortress is a palace wherein abides the Lord, the true master. The true one has established his true throne in the tenth gate, the fourteenth world, four and ten shops, and the lamps of the sun and the moon are the witness that the Lord slaves, the elite, have not tasted the poison of sins. Within the mortal is the invaluable substance of unique beauty. Meeting with the Guru, this wealth of the Lord is obtained. He who is worthy of the throne should sit on the throne. He is such a page of the Lord who has, by Guru's teaching, silenced the five evil demons. By contemplating the Lord, who was in the very beginning and the beginning of ages, is now and shall also be, one is rid of anxiety and doubt. Day and night the Lord of the throne is offered obeisance. This true glory is earned by him alone who loves the Guru's teaching.